my God, did we need that on my birthday as well. That caps off a beautiful, beautiful day. Three points to unwrap. Um, as today comes to a close, it is absolutely freezing. It's really late here at Old Trafford. We've won by three goals to two. I have to start off by putting my own thing aside. So, you know, I am happy on a personal. And just thank Michael Carrick. Um, I know some people say, get a bit like angry. Oh, what are you thanking him for? Flex, you know, he was part of it. He should have gone ages ago. Leave all that where it is. The guy was left in the shit and had three di really difficult games. Villarreal away, Chelsea away and Arsenal at home. And he's got two wins and a draw. And you know what he's done in that time? He made some real bold decisions. And you have to say that all his decisions kind of work. Was it pretty? No. But what he instilled in those three games was discipline, was desire, was a little bit of organisation. Um, he was never going to play fantastic football and be amazing and sort all of our problems out. He was just literally holding the fort until the new manager got here. And for Michael Carrick to step down immediately after that, I heard what some of the things he had to say. It just shows the type of man that he is and it shows that he'd done a job for us, the fans, the club. You know, like I said many times, if Michael Carrick would have walked out the door like we wanted him to along with Oli, then where would it have left us? Because of the club. That should have been aimed at the club and not Michael Carrick. Michael Carrick done the best job he could possibly do um, by firefighting. And today's another example of that. Today is another example of that. It was, it was the good, the bad and the ugly of Manchester United all in one game. The goal that we conceded was just freakish, the first goal. I saw the hair down on the floor. I'm thinking, what's going on here? If, this, if, if you're down like that, the hair, and the, and the ref done the right thing and blowing the whistle after the ball had gone in the net. I was like, De Gea, you better hope this is some, you better hope this is some real GBH attack on you that's, that's made you stay like that because VAR is not going to save you. And as you can see, it's, it's calamitous. Fred steps on his ankle and, you know, it's, it's, it's a goal. It's a goal. But what do we do from there? And again, under Michael Carrick, you know, you're thinking it's his first home, first and last home game. It's a bad goal, a stupid goal to concede. It's fairly early. How do we respond? And we responded by trying to get on the ball and trying to make things happen, but it wasn't quite there, huffing and puffing, taking slow, taking long to do things, moving the ball slowly, people not really taking responsibility. Up until that last minute, and Jaden Sancho, Jaden Sancho kept going, he kept going at Tomiyasu, gives him the little, sh the little shoulder and sets in Fred, who I fought today. Yes, for large parts of the first half, Fred wasn't very good. But then towards the end of the half, look what he does. Look what he brings. I was saying this to KG the other day. Um, where was we going? I think it was after the Flexing KG show, I was just talking to him. And I was like, nah, Fred, Fred does need some more respect, you know, because you have to look at the influence he's having in the team. Do you know what I mean? He does a lot of the ugly stuff. Yes, we know when Fred gets a nosebleed when he's too high up the pitch, shouldn't really be shooting. But if Fred wasn't high up the pitch today, we don't get the assist for Bruno and we don't get the penalty. Fred's a massive part of why we won that game today. Um, and like I said, you will see a little bit of the good, bad and ugly in Fred. But you have to also look at, I think the good outweighs the bad. And I think under Ralph Radnick, which is moving forward, I think he's going to be instrumental. Fred, what he does off the ball is fantastic. He's on to people. He was on to Thomas Partey. You know, Arsenal fans, Robbie included, were on music videos about Thomas Partey. Thomas Partey came here last year, early in his Arsenal career, and dropped a masterclass when there was no fans here. He saw fans here today at Old Trafford and, and did nothing. Absolutely nothing. Aubameyang, awful. They're carrying him. So luckily they started him up front, um, as opposed to Lacazette, which made it easier for us because I don't know what Aubameyang's on. He's, he's awful right now. Absolutely shocking player. Shocking. Um, but we kept coming, we kept coming and it wasn't pretty. It, it, we had to dig in, but I think our quality showed. Bruno really needed that goal, neat finish from him. Um, second half as well. Uh, look, David De Gea, he, he makes, he makes, I say he made a mistake for the first goal. He gets trodden on and goes down. Probably didn't realise it was Fred, but he makes a massive save from, from Gabriel. Huge, huge save. And when we were talking about it, um, in the previews and they were putting Ramsdale and I was going with De Gea. We know that as United fans, why we're going to go with De Gea. Fantastic save. Aaron Ramsdale today. I was just so happy to see him um, just not high-fiving. Hold that. There's a pen down your throat. There's that Bruno in the corner. Probably should have saved it. Um, and then the Ronaldo one picked that out of the net, mate. Just, just get back to picking the ball out the net. And there's high-fiving. You're eating curry goat. You're with the man. Huh? Oh, yeah. Big up. High five. Happy birthday. 100%. I thought he was telling me to move back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get back. <laughs> um, yeah, so Ramsdale, mate. Sit down and hold that. You can hold that. Um, that was brilliant to see. And Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Problem. Not going to press. There was no plan. Ronaldo's made you play shit. 
801 goals. Just not, he hasn't just scored 801 goals. In his career, he's now scored 801 goals. Um, and Ronaldo just does what Ronaldo does. Anyone, you know, I think it was Merson, one of the guys said it in the fan views. Yeah, Merson was saying, you know, yeah, Ronaldo, this, Ronaldo, yeah, pundits talk about it. Fans saying, just calm down. Every fan, and, and rightly so, because you've got to take the banter, you've got to take the good with, the, with the, the rough of the smooth. As soon as Ronaldo makes a mistake, every fan is going sue and all that. Arsenal fans just, just, just had to hold the sues today, didn't you? Just had to hold it. It was, it was beautiful to see him score them two goals as well. Couldn't have fallen into a better player. Just, and, and it was great for Bruno Fernandes to not score a pen against Arsenal. So just the irony in everything. The irony was just adds to it. So I'm in a fantastic mood. I think we showed heart, determination. I think we showed, you know, organisation. We showed bravery in an ugly game. There's still, is there a lot of things to work on? Of course. But Michael Carrick, he, he came in, he steadied the ship, he calmed it, he calmed it down for three games. And here against, uh, against uh, Crystal Palace on Sunday, the place is going to be rocking. Ralph ran its first game. Um, and I think, I think we're going to start to see us just build on this now. Um, it's not going to be... I don't think it's going to be plain sailing. You can't expect Ralph Rennick to come in and all of a sudden we are pressing, we are running around like blue ass flies for 90 minutes and it all goes perfect. And Palace are a difficult side to, to beat at the best of times. They're, they're banana skin of a side. Um, I'm playing some decent stuff right now. But I just feel like that squad there now, it's almost like, right, Ralph, we've calmed it down. The players have got a bit of confidence now. Over to you. And I can't wait. It's just exciting to see the change be made finally, but it's exciting to see what he can do. Um, so for me, Jaden Sancho, big up to him. I think he is starting to prove, even for, this, even for the, the goal that leads to the, 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 the incident leads to the penalty. I think Bruno has like a cross slash shot. He goes across the face of the goal. Sancho runs to recover the ball. And instead of getting gassed and trying to, you know, make it about him and take players on, he just reads the situation well. And it looks simple. And some people who maybe look at the game differently will see it as, oh, he didn't even do anything. It's the simplicity of just, just wait. <laughs> just wait for wait for the run and play it between two players with a nice weight and give it to Fred. Don't try and take on two players. It's the little decisions like that. Running at Tomiyasu, giving the little reverse ball through, um, I think it was through Thomas Partey and Tomiyasu. Thomas Partey, again, sh shocking today. Uh, just as bad as Aubameyang. Um, awful. Um, but to, to, to play that ball, Jaden Sancho's just growing in confidence and having goal involvement and making the right decision. So I'm really, really pleased for him. Rashford did well to get the assist as well for Ronaldo for the second goal, but was in and out of the game. I want to see much of him. And a big shout out to Dallo as well. Dallo, I thought, done really, really well. He played the ball down um, to Rashford. Have to big him up. It could have been a difficult game. He's coming in out the cold, not playing much games done really well and Tellez as well Martinelli absolute live wire I was really impressed by him kept getting at us um, and Tellez done well Tellez done well so overall you know three points is all that matters it's my birthday it's not my birthday anymore because it's the next day as we're recording this it's early in the morning it's freezing cold um, but I'm happy I'm very very happy roll on Sunday and a big thank you to Michael Car Michael Carrick is my man of the match because obviously it's Ronaldo but I just feel like he was in a really really difficult position I said when he came in for those three games, I was not going to judge him on performances. We just needed to firefight and get results. And he's done that and left it probably out of the shit show that it was against Watford. In them three games, he's probably left it the best he could have in them three games for Ralph to come in and say, OK, we're working off of a Champions League qualifications now. And we're working off of a draw from Chelsea top of the league. And now we're back in the top four race and, and, and doing what we need to do by beating Arsenal. Thank you, Michael Carrick. Smash the like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. Thank you for all the birthday love. Thanks for all of the um, birthday messages and comments and stuff like that. I've had a great day. I've really felt the love. And thanks for rocking out here at United View. Peace.